keep it gentle. You want to be gentle enough that you stay injury free and highly motivated. You want to be progressive. In other words, you want to challenge yourself each week. And a good rule is about 10% increase each week in your training. And the third thing is keep it fun. You know, have a goal and remember that your goal is to be running lifelong. And as an athlete, you've already discovered that as you run, you get stronger, you get fitter, you're more in control of your life, you eat better, you sleep better, you handle stress better. All the things that we do in our lives improve. So it's not just the half marathon or the full marathon that you're training for. You're training for life and you're going to celebrate life. Celebrate it every day you go out for a run. Mm -hmm. I know with you, you started this, was it around 1981? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and this wasn't always your lifestyle at one point, right? What got you into this? Well, it was my family that got me going. I have two sons, and they were the ones that got me into running. And before that, I was their certified coach potato. You know, I was a chubby guy. I was 238 pounds, and I was a smoker. So I had to, you know, quit smoking as well. And if people are currently still smoking, get hooked on a positive addiction like running and exercise. Get high on yourself rather than on tobacco, and you'll find that you'll, you'll enjoy life and you'll enjoy your sport of running lifelong. The motivation and inspiration, you know, there's a variety of ways that we can do that. Many of us, it's weight loss, and some, for some people, it may be that special charity that you're, you're looking at, and it could be something like Canadian Breast Cancer or Terry Fox or the various runs that are held throughout the year that, that are special to you, and, and you can use that as kind of a goal to get yourself out there. Race day is like graduation day. It's a day of celebration. It's a day we take your picture, day you get your medal, all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. The test you did, you passed when you did all your training runs. The day you went out and it was hot or humid, or the day you went out and it was cold and frigid, and yeah. you still went out there and did your training, that's the day you passed the test. And remember that race day, always when you're nervous and you know a lot of anxiety, think of somebody special in your life. There's always somebody you can think of that would give the world to be able to be out there. Maybe somebody who's in hospital, somebody yeah. who died of cancer, somebody who's special to you, and just say, wow, they'd, be, they'd give the world to be out here running with me. And think about what a special gift it is, our health. And that's what you're doing. You're celebrating your good health every time you go for a run.